I decided to try Chongqing's spiciest hot pot. Hi, Koi. Wow. Maybe I really have graduated to the next level. Maybe spice can't get me anymore. Oh, I definitely spoke too soon. Yeah, I think I need to go to the bathroom. I've become a bit cocky as of late in terms of my ability to tolerate spice. I mean, I was just in Guizhou, home to reportedly the spiciest food in China, and I didn't feel a thing. Oh, except that one time I cried, but you know, I feel like that was an exception. It's so spicy. Anyway, I've built up this dangerous idea in my head that I'm like impenetrable to the spice. Nongchila. Test me. So I really need to be brought back down to reality. To complete this mission, I've recruited a task force, the likes of which the world has never seen. What you're seeing behind me here are three of the most hardcore spice eaters in Chongqing. When people think of Chongqing and spicy food, one food in particular comes to mind, and that's Chongqing hot pot. It's a huge part of life here, and locals love it, but oh boy, is it spicy. So we have arrived at our hot pot destination for today. Okay, so basically what you guys need to know is here in Chongqing there is a spice scale. Before when I came to Chongqing, I had wei la, which is not spicy, and I was already like very overwhelmed by the spice, but there's also la, la, once you've decided on the spice level for your hot pot base, it's on to picking the ingredients for your hot pot. You know, when in Chongqing order all the organs, we actually haven't ordered any kind of like just sliced beef. They had to give our table a second look like, are you sure? Are you sure you want really spicy? I can see you've got a foreigner at your table. Are you sure you can handle it? I want to show you that foreigners, we can actually eat spicy. Our organ meat has arrived. Whoa, this here is the roof of a pig's mouth. Wow, they really eat all the parts of the animal here. And of course, the famous Chongqing Nao Hua. Chongqing's spiciest hot pot. It is like a hell. You can just see the color difference. Like, it's not a trick of the camera. This is red here. This is as red as it gets. And this here is our hot pot. It's literally black. I'm nervous about the diarrhea I'm gonna have tomorrow. Okay, Kaishala, Sensheshamana. While we wait quite literally for our blood to boil, <laughs> lol, let's construct our dipping sauce. I'll give you one guess who this bowl's for. Their name rhymes with Mamie. Mamie needs vinegar because Mamie is scared. Our blood is ready. Okay, wow. After it's cooked, it loses that intense red color. It's a super popular hot pot ingredient because duck blood itself has no distinct flavor and it also sucks up and absorbs a lot of the flavor from the hot pot. Let's go. Chongqing's spiciest hot pot. I was so nervous for this first bite, ready at any moment for that spice to penetrate my senses and do weird things to my body. Any minute now. Any minute now. Hi, Koya. Let's keep eating, because right now I'm okay. Maybe it'll just get spicier and spicier as it goes on. Hi, Koya. Hola. <laughs> So when you're eating Chongqing Huogo, the Chongqing Huogo, it's not a So 
So I tried again, and this time I didn't even dip it in my sauce, so the spice would be completely undiluted. This is not what I was expecting. I thought that as soon as I put it in my mouth, I would like be burning up in my mouth. That wasn't the case, and I kind of felt a little bit like disappointed, almost. It was kind of like, hey, I was promised Chongqing's hottest, spiciest hot pot, and I'm not getting it. So we did just that, and I was told that after this extra spice addition, this hot pot is now classified as te te la, translation, super f spicy. And then we're gonna let it boil for another like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just yes. to make sure all of those juices. Spicy, spicy enough. Yeah, and then we're gonna try it again. So the pot's been boiling for a while, and I'm now gonna try the much anticipated yagen, which is the top of a pig's mouth, something I've never tried before, or even you existed before today. If this doesn't give me spicy feelings, then I don't know what will. I like the texture. It's like kind of a little bit crunchy, but also soft. Let's wait for the spice. Hi, Koi. Hi, Koi. What is happening here? Maybe I really have graduated to the next level. Maybe spice can't get me anymore. Maybe I'm like superhuman. Keep eating. We're filling my bowl full of stuff, and I'm for the next five minutes gonna continuously eat and eat and eat and eat and then see how I'm doing after that. It started and it starts here. And also, at this stage my mouth is like filling with like fluid, salivation. It's really, oh yeah, it's spicy now. <laughs> My tongue is vibrating. Look, I'm not doing this on purpose. I like that's just happening. My tongue is just like going crazy. And then at some point it just hits you like a brick wall. Oh! <laughs> The thing is, you have to keep eating. Before, I was just having one bite resting, one bite resting. But when you eat it all together, oh my god. I learned a very valuable lesson from this experience. Don't underestimate Chongqing spice or judge it from your first bite. It's all about the whole jar, the after spice. And I tell you, it is a killer. And being good with spice here in Chongqing is more about your spice stamina, how long you can keep eating. And that made me realize just how impressive these guys are. I can handle it. But the meal is not over until you've eaten some brain. It's put in at the very end because it has somewhat of a distinctive taste that can impact the overall flavor of the hot pot. Let's get us some brain. As you'll see, it is very, very tender. Brain really reminds me of tofu, actually. Kind of all just falls apart a bit. Spicy, spicy pork brain. Zhu nao, shiba. Zombie brain. <laughs> yeah, you don't even have to bite it. It just like slurps down. Ni zhe de bi chongqing huo guo hui you gen la de dong xi ma? Hui, hui. Wo tui jian qu chi yi jia ru de lu. Now I'm officially nervous because these guys have been totally fine through this whole hot pot experience. They haven't really thought it's spicy at all, but they're all saying that this is super, super, super spicy. It's just in front of us here. Okay, I'm ready for it. So first things first, we come to the fridge here to choose the ingredients we want in our de lu. So it's a little bit similar to mala tongue, except all the, most of the ingredients here are already cooked. I guess braised is the better term actually. Re de lu is a form of lu cai, with lu referring to the Chinese slow braising technique where food is submerged in cooking liquid and slowly braised for several hours until tender and full of flavor. So these ingredients are already packed full of flavor, but there's more flavor to come because the next step is submerging your ingredients in this super spicy pot 
of sauce, where the ingredients are reheated and coated with the infamous spice. Oh, Lila! It doesn't look spicy. It smells nice and sweet. It doesn't smell spicy. You must try it. <laughs> and this, much like Chongqing hot pot, it's all about the after spice, and it takes a few bites before you feel anything at all. I feel nothing. I'm okay. Easy. A few minutes later. <laughs> what? I haven't seen her break a sweat all day, so this is truly worrying. I've been instructed to eat this, which is full of sauce, because it's the sauce that's super, super spicy. Over here, they're like not okay. Her soul has left her body. Look, she's just been looking at the, at the table for like two minutes now. It's very tasty, very sweet. I needed to catch up with the others, so I started gulping down that yeah. 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 Now it's really it's starting. It's really starting. It's like very here, right here. I, I haven't eaten for like a minute, but it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. I have to say, this is spicier than the hot pot. Yes. But is there anything else in Chongqing that can beat this for spiciness? Shall we go get some mala? Yeah. 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 Are you yeah. are you okay? I'm okay. Have you recovered? Yeah. You okay, okay. No, I'm the best. Amy is the is the MVP. I don't know what came over me, but in that moment, it seemed like the best thing to do was to drink the sauce. It was a decision I regretted immediately. No, I want to hold on, hold on, hold on. You're sorry, my jelly. <laughs> and apparently, the duck heads we're about to eat are like ten times spicier than this. Pray for me. I'm gonna buy some insurance. Hey. The site of our next round of torture is Shancheng Fanju, where they have signs plastered on all the walls warning you not to eat here if you can't handle extreme spice. Mado. This sign here says if you're in bad health or have a weak stomach, please don't attempt to eat the deadly duck heads. But don't worry, we came prepared with reinforcement. This giant fruit tea would be my shield against this devil spice. We are ready. <laughs> We're ready for the spice. Look, look how big it is. It's like as big as my face. Yado Hanada. So this is it. This is the Everest that we have come here to climb. <laughs> and it's worth noting, for whatever reason, these duck heads are actually free to the first 300 customers. The reason for which we've been debating... The cruelest thing about this duck head is the spice only hits you after you've finished it. And by that stage, there's nothing you can do about it. But sit there, endure it, and hope you come out on the other side breathing. I finished my head. And now, just waiting for it to kick in. It's already started. My mouth is starting to fire up. Oh! Right now, speaking is a real struggle. Living is a real struggle. My whole mind and brain is being taken over by the spice. Oh, I'm so bad. This is the worst spice of my life. The worst spice of my life. And it just keeps going. There's no end in sight. I have never experienced such an intense and such a long spice reaction. I was in intense pain for 30 minutes, I kid you not. At one stage, I thought I was going to pass out, vomit, and poop myself all at the same time. It was quite a sensation. Yeah, I think I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> but it wasn't just me. Nali <laughs> Tom. By this stage, all our stomachs were completely on fire. 
That was honestly, I have no words for what I just experienced. Kids, do not try this at home. So we are currently on our way to the chemist to get ourselves some stomach medicine because my stomach is really uncomfortable and so is everyone else's right now. <laughs> so we're gonna go get some medicine. Honestly, I've never felt a pain like this. Heal me. If you're still here at the end of this video, please subscribe. A day of eating spicy foods, guys, I would not recommend it. I would not recommend it to my worst enemy. There's a there's a demon in here just wanting to break free. Hopefully we'll be feeling better soon. But anyway, thanks guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And yeah, goodbye from Chongqing. Bye guys. Bye bye. <laughs>